this video, we're going to talk about using the audio 4 c from iConnectivity and setting up record mode using Oracle for X series. Now the audio 4 c is an incredibly versatile interface. It can do so, so much. And I want to show you how versatile and powerful this is when we are using it for recording. Now, first thing I should mention, I have my audio 4 c connected to my computer and it is connected to uh, port one on the interface. So you see, we have two different types of connections here. Uh, I am connected to the first connection. Now I want to show you over on my computer, I've got Oracle 4X loaded up, which is the free control software for my connectivity. Uh, we've included the link to download that in the description of this video, if you haven't downloaded yet, and it's completely free. So now let's click on the audio tab here and by default, your interface should be in record mode, but if not, if it's in one of these other modes, then you can click record here. Now, let me jump you over to the DAW that I'm using for this example, which is Ableton Live 11 Suite. And I'm going to go into Preferences and go to the Audio tab. Now, depending on what DAW you're using, obviously the setup and the audio input configuration is going to look a little different. Um, but I'm going to show you from the perspective of Ableton Live 11. But whatever DAW you're using, head to the Preferences for that, go to the Audio section, and I have my audio input device set up for the Audio 4C. Now, I'm going to go to Input Config. And you'll see when we look at this page, we actually have eight inputs. But if you look at the device, we only have four inputs here. So let's talk about what all those additional inputs are and where they're coming from. So back in Ableton Live, obviously inputs one through four, these are the actual analog inputs on the device itself. Now, if I take you back into Oracle for X series here, um, we've in a separate video talked about how to set this up and how to configure all our inputs here on the analog input side of this. But over in Ableton Live, uh, when we look at this, inputs one through four are the inputs directly connected to my device. But again, we have those additional inputs. We have inputs five through eight, where in the world are those coming from? Let's look at our device, our interface one more time. Now we have this additional port on our interface. So we have my computer connected here, but what's nice about this, in addition to those four analog inputs, I could connect a completely separate computer to this connection here. So imagine being in a recording uh, scenario and you're using inputs one through four for uh, a microphone, maybe for a guitar connection, maybe they even connect a drum set, but you also need to record uh, maybe four additional inputs or four additional outputs from a main stage computer. So in order to do that, it's really, really simple with the Audio 4C. So again, what I could do is connect my main stage computer to port two on my interface. And then what's great, let's go back into Ableton Live, go back into preferences, uh, my input configuration here. Those four outputs from whatever uh, device, whatever computer are connected to port two are gonna show up in my DAW uh, on inputs uh, five through eight. So what's great about that is I can pass audio from my main stage computer, uh, from whatever uh, device or computer that's connected to that second port into my main DAW for recording. So I can expand from just recording four analog inputs to now recording four analog and four digital inputs. Now what's worth mentioning here, while I can do that, I can then also pass four outputs from this main computer to my other computer. So if I go to my other device that's connected there and I choose inputs uh, five through eight on that, then that device is going to see the output from this computer and it's also going to see the analog inputs on the 4c as well too so essentially what the 4c is doing in this scenario is it's allowed me to plug in four inputs here on the front four analog inputs i can send four analog inputs from device one and i can send four analog inputs from device two and those get split between devices to make recording incredibly simple and flexible. Now, one final thing I wanna show you over in Oracle for X here is in addition to recording, I can then also go and create mixes for my band members using analog one and two, analog three and four, and the headphone output on the back of this interface. And you can see uh, when I go to each of these, I can create a blend of all my sources, both the devices connected to the machine as well as mics one through four. So hopefully after this video, you see how one simple it is to set up and use the Audio 4C for recording, but how incredibly powerful and versatile it is. Again, 
Both computers are essentially getting four analog inputs as well as four digital inputs from the computers, and we're able to split to both of those as well as create mixes for our band. So if you're looking for an audio interface for recording, the Audio 4C is the perfect choice. Now, if you have any questions about setting up your Audio 4C or particularly using it in your setup that we didn't address in this video, make sure to reach out to iConnectivity support. We've included information on how to contact them in the description of this video. Take care, everybody. Bye. Thank you.